Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Counterman Education Center. Today, we're going to talk about a subject you can really get charged up about. Yes, you guessed it, the automotive alternator. When automobiles first started having electrical needs, there was plenty of power to come out of a magneto. After all, it was only firing the spark plugs. Then came such things as lights and, oh yes, the electric starter motor. With these new innovations, a method to store electrical energy was needed. This was solved with a battery. But how would we charge that battery? Well, a generator was added and the system was complete. The need for accessories and features did not stop there, and soon a generator could not keep up. In 1960, Chrysler introduced the alternator on the Valiant. Ford and General Motors were to follow several years later. The alternator was cheaper to produce and created more current at idle speeds and was lighter. Alternators produce AC voltage, which must be converted to DC power. This is done in the rectifier with the use of diodes. Early on, the typical alternator produced 25 to 30 amps. Today, alternators are expected to produce far more amperage to meet today's vehicle needs. For instance, the 2021 Ford F-150 alternator offerings range from 90 to 215 amps. All manufacturers today have very high performing alternators to meet customers' demands. What does all this mean for you on the counter? Well, it has many effects on the selling of these components. The knowledge you have to have to get the right part for the application is very specific. Always, if you have VIN data to identify the correct part, that's the best way. If not, make, model, and year is next best. Even with make, model, and year, you may need trim level, special equipment, and any special engine sizing. The power output is not the only thing that has changed over the years. Today, there are various types of drive systems available for the alternators. Knowing what type of drive system will be powering the alternator will assist you in helping your customers with other tools or parts they may need to complete the repair. Selling an alternator is a larger ticket item, and since it is an electrical item, it may have stringent return policies and definite warranty procedures. It's very important that when your customer purchases an alternator, that they are confident that this is the failed part. The alternator is only one part of a very complex charging system. Asking a DIY customer some questions about previous charging voltages and battery state of charge might save you both headaches in the future. That does it for today. Thanks for being with us and keep charging.